So the next presentation now is Giuseppe Greco, has been working in the context of multi-messenger research, um, developing practical tools in the context of various uh, East, uh, European funded projects. So um, yeah, Giuseppe, the floor is yours. Okay, many, many thanks, uh, of course, to the organizers to design the wonderful uh, online EDAS meeting. It's my first uh, EDAS conference, so I am very, very happy to be, to be here. Well, in my talk, I, I will focus on the capability to describe the gravitational wave scale localization using the so-called multi-order data structure. It's a quite large research program. Today, it's a support from two main European projects, and they are ESCAPE and AHEAD. In particular, the last one is mainly designed for high energy emissions. I divided my talk into three main parts. Firstly, a very short introduction to the GW scale localizations and the last results from LIGO and Virgo. Then I will show you a few protocol examples and applications in a real context. And, and finally, I will discuss the benefit to encode the space and time simultaneously, the so-called space time mode. And uh, by looking for the future, I will try to figure out uh, any possible applications for the next generations of interferometer, Einstein telescope, the ET observatory. Well, most, uh, most probably the next uh, observational run from LIGO, Virgo, and CAGRA at that time will start at the beginning of uh, 2022. All sky maps will be issued in the multi order format. Multi order is uh, developed by Leo Singer, uh, and uh, here on the top of my slide, you can find any resources from Live and Virgo user guides. Multi order is uh, supported uh, from uh, several uh, tools uh, like Dot Map, Astrophy Hill Fix, MockPy, and the last version of Aladdin, Aladdin uh, version 11. So, Mock and Multi order are uh, closely related, of course. Multi order uh, encodes probability map, that means probability density, distance estimations, while mock maps regions with non value attached. More specifically, mock is an efficient method to encode the complex region over the sky using a predefined cells. Each mock cell is defined by two numbers, the heat peaks order and the heat peaks high peaks. Of course, mock is based on a heat peaks tessellation of, of the sky. The Unix scheme defines an algorithm for packing order and high peaks into a single integer usually stored in a single column system. The mock algorithm uh, is developed by Fermik and collaborator in 2014, and uh, today it is uh, supported from uh, the International Wilt Observatory Alliance. Well, uh, here in the animated uh, GIF, uh, you can uh, visualize the last Live and Virgo catalog from April to November 2019, the first part of the observation around number three. For that reason, all three A. 59 events are observed, and uh, it is quite clear that the GW sky localizations are characterized by regular areas, and only in a few cases you can apply, for example, an easy fit ellipse mode. Well, it's very, very easy to encode the, with mock the GW sky localizations, as in the GIF you just needed to get the probability list from the Hilpix file to sort it in the descending order and sum up the pixel values in order to get the confidence level that you wish. Finally, from such pixel table, of course, you can apply the mock encoding. In particular, the methods implemented the mock pi Calculate the integrated probability by dividing the last pixel at the lowest resolution presented in a multi resolution, multi order, sorry, multi order format discussed before the official live and vehicle format for the next observational run. Well, 
I think it's very, very interesting to, to stress uh, that uh, MOOC uh, meets uh, a very large uh, support from uh, the community, a very large community. And uh, I think it's a good, uh, good news for the researchers involved uh, in the EM follow-up of uh, gravitational wave events. As uh, an example, you can write a Jupyter uh, uh, tutorial using the IPAL and the widget. MOCPI is an affiliated AstroPi package or just you can build the incredible region with Aladdin and Query Vizier from, from Mock. So let, let me show you a uh, practical application. Uh, here, an application from the Engrave collaborations using MockPy and the Matplot library in Python, of course. The plot shows uh, the EM follow up from uh, Atlas, VST, Panstar. Go to and uh, and Vista telescopes. You can visualize the line inference scheme map and 1950 10% confidence levels and the initial biostar scheme up in light gray. It's so the coverage of the GW event 190814 and uh, published by the engraved collaboration in the astronomy and astrophysics. Again, you can uh, interactively visualize the in Jupiter sky localizations at different uh, confidence levels as uh, independent planes, as you show in the, in the video. You can, can download and run the tutorials from the link reported in, the, in this slide. Again, you can uh, interactively visualize different sky maps issued for the same event. In such example, you see the scale localization of a GW190814, the initial by star scale map, the initial line inference, and the final scale map published during the summer and few months, a few months ago. Well, you can do more. You can measure the intersection from two or more scale maps. And uh, in particular, here in the yellow, you can see the intersection between the bias star and the inference sky map. Well, uh, interesting also the method in MockPy named contains, and in the in a multi messenger application, you can use it uh, to test if an EM transient is located inside and a gravitational wave uh, scale localization in a particular credible region, or it's still contained in that confidence level when a more accuracy scale mass is the issue. Also, Aladdin Light, of course, is able to support the mock regions. Here we can see an application in the context of LIGO and Virgo resources which we can interactively visualize the scale localization with the Virgo and without Virgo of the GW event 17017. The error box is provided by Fermi for the Gamma Bird 17017. And finally, the location of the Macronova detected by Swap Telescope in Chile and the host galaxy NGC 4993. We can do the same in the Aladdin desktop. I just took a few screenshots from the Lago and Virgo user guide in which we describe how we can build the credible region and after that, how we can query this year from, from Mock. The tutorial is hosted at the link copied in the, in the slide here. Well, the space and time walk will be described in uh, details from uh, the first talk uh, in the next uh, time slot. And uh, shortly, the method is based on uh, discretization of space and time dimension. The time coverage for the last order is one microsecond. And this system is very interesting for deep investigation in the multi-messenger application, but uh, not so. So, uh, we can encode the GW credible regions with the trigger time for doing space and time operations simultaneously. The user interface of Aladdin is very friendly. You 
just need to copy the trigger time from the header and paste it in the property windows, like in this screenshot. And let me show you a very basic exercise. Here we can see a random EM follow-up of a GW event. And I want to study any possible macronova emission. And for that reason, I selected the three time intervals from micronova model and very schematic uh, kilonova light curve. And by using the STMOC, I found the associated coverage in each time range as selected in my model using intersectional union, intersectional union in a loop. And so here are the final results. It's very preliminary exercise with no real uh, data, but uh, an uh, additional exercise is uh, provided by Alessandra with the uh, real data. In the poster, uh, search for special and temporal coincidence between lat Fermi exposure maps and the GW sky localization. In details, Alessandra shows the steps to create an STMOC from a Fermilat and the LIGO and Virgo data, making operation in space and time simultaneously. Okay. So, by looking for the future, uh, it uh, will be. Sorry? Uh, Giuseppe, two, two minutes, uh, Giuseppe. Oh, okay. So, uh, just a few words about the Einstein telescope uh, will be a ground based interferometer and uh, will be built a few hundred meters underground. The arm length uh, will be increased by 10 kilometers compared to 3 kilometers for Virgo and 4 kilometers for the two LIGOs in the United States. Today, two candidate sites are under investigation one in Sardinia near the former uh, Sostenatus mine and one at the three border region of uh, Belgium, Germany, and Netherlands. It will uh, have a triangular shape uh, corresponding to three nested interferometers uh, with the more isotropic antenna patterns without the blind spots. And then, uh, why this introduction? Uh, because of the expected detection rates using this uh, kind of technology, it's very, it's very impressive. Uh, 10 to 5, 10 to 6 black hole, and 10 to 4 neutron star mergers per, per year. The simulations are provided by Maggiore at, at home. So we, we try to explore uh, real-time uh, access, uh, querying uh, the ET scale localization, uh, encoding, of course, in uh, STMOC, by a uh, selective time uh, range. In other words, if you identify an interesting transient, you can query the ET schema by time ranges. That is the idea and the approach that we are exploring in the working package G of ahead. And uh, finally, my, my last sli slide, uh, we use also MOOC and HIPS for educational. Uh, we try to mimic the popular app like Google Schema app or Stellarium using dedicated uh, photosphere, dedicated HIPS uh, photosphere. So you can get more details uh, in the poster from, uh, from uh, Valerio about uh, this work. So many, many thanks for, for the attention. Apologies, I was still uh, muted. Uh, okay, many thanks, uh, Giuseppe.